Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be comparing the VideoProc Vlogger free video editing program right here with a couple of free online video editing programs and look at the similarities and differences between those. Now, when I say free here with the VideoProc Vlogger, that means free. No watermarks, no monthly subscriptions, no limits on features, no limits on quality and exports. Totally free. Now, for a quick comparison here, let's first take a look at a very expensive editing program and that's Premiere Pro. I'll switch over to that. That's right here. Premiere Pro is from Adobe and I spend over $600 a year to have access to this program. Very expensive. But you can see what we have here. We have a timeline down here. We have a working preview window up here, left-hand side preview window of different clips. Click on a clip, there's my preview window right there. So the kind of standard editing tools with our timeline, we can come in here and do multi-tracks and music and so forth. Very complex. This program can do anything you want, but it's over $600 a year. It's a bit on the expensive side. Okay, let's switch back over to the VideoProc Vlogger right here. And again, this is completely free. Those are the same kind of things. Here's our play window up here. If you want a preview, it's just a matter of double clicking on a clip and there's your preview window right there. They're in the same spot. But aside from that same basic idea, we'll go back down here to our video. You can do multi-tracks, you can do green screen, you can do picture-in-picture -picture right here. Everything you would expect from a good full-featured video editing program. Let's now see how this compares to free online video editing programs. Let me bring up a browser window here. Here we go. And there are a couple we'll be looking at. This is InVideo, a very good online editor right here. And then over here is FlexClip again. A very good online video editor, but these are very limited on what you can actually do. The main benefit you get from these online editors is that they have these templates down here. You have a lot of templates you can get to. Let me just go back here, back inside our editor. There we go. In here you can work with video right here or images or music, all free stuff. But I'll show you where you can get free images, video, music, and so forth without having to use a program like this. So all this stuff is available, including templates online if you know where to look. FlexClip, basically the same concept. And again, templates, media, text, video, photo. Let's look at this stuff first in here. Here's one called Pexels.com. I just did a search here for abstract and you can search for videos. And here's a whole bunch of abstract videos. These are all free download video clips. You can also search for photos. There we go abstract wallpapers. So anything you want, let's just say I wanted to do a different search in here for cats. There you go. So loads, loads of free content here, still images, photos, and video on Pexels. Let's go over here to another one. This is Pixabay. Again, I did a search here for abstract and I looked for videos right here. Notice that this has photos, vector graphics, illustrations, videos, music, sound effects, lots of stuff in here. Again, fast search for abstract videos, and here we go, a whole bunch of free download abstract videos. Just hover over for a second, and there's your video clip, and you can use that very easily in the VideoProc Vlogger. So no problem at all getting free photos and free video clips. They're all over the place. Let's talk about free sounds and free music. First one I have up here is called Free Sound. Great free sound source. I use this a lot. Let's just do a search here for music. And here we go, a whole bunch of music options right down here. Notice over here we have Creative Commons. This is the one that you would want. These are going to be totally free to use, no problem at all. Creative Commons zero, just click on that and you get a list of files that are free to use for both personal and commercial uses. Now, if you are making videos on YouTube, just go into your YouTube studio. This is mine right here. Left-hand side, come down to the audio library. All this music in here is free. You don't have to give attribution, anything like that. I use this stuff frequently in my videos. Also have sound effects as well. So music, sound effects, and these are all free to use. Just download these and they can be used in YouTube videos. You can't use these anyplace else, but you can use these in YouTube videos. Okay, the last thing that we had over on these two free online editors, the InVideo and FlexClip, was that they had the built-in templates. Now right over here, I have another great site. It's called VidEasy and there are loads of free video templates right here. Now some of these have a little thing where it says pro. You can get a subscription here and get other options, but there's a lot, tons and tons in here that is completely free. Notice why I have 37 pages of templates in here. And these download as actual templates. Come down as a zip file with all the different elements you need to work with this as an actual template. So 
Templates are also available free online. That's nothing special. Let's take a look at what really matters about video editing, and that's the video editor. Right now we're in the in video. This is the video editor. Here's our preview window, of course. I already have my logo showing up here. And down below, this is your video editor right here. There is your music track, and here's your video track. That's our timeline. I can either show or hide our timeline. Let's bring in some video. I'll go up here to upload. Here's one that I used in the beginning of the video proc vlogger video. And then at the beginning of the video proc vlogger, I have a green screen, which is this one. I'll just double click on that, choose done. And that brings that in as another layer. Here we go. Let's just get this thing to fit. There we are. So that's basically the same thing I have set up in Video Proc Vlogger, but I don't have any way of keying out that green that's right there. So I can't do any green screen shots here. Now there are some overlays that come with NVIDIA. Let me just show you those right over here. There are a few things in here, but it's relatively limited. These will act like green screens, but you can't choose your own green screen. You're limited to the green screen effects that are over here in the overlay section. We can do video in video. We'll go up here to video. I'll just grab one of these videos at random. Doesn't really matter what. I'll just double click on this and bring this in. Choose done. We can do video in video. So that's a possibility. But you don't have that green screen option that we can do over in the video proc vlogger program. Let's go back and take a look at that. Like I have right here at the beginning of this. I can do music in the background, but I can do this kind of a green screen effect where I'm replacing the green screen. Let me just play this first beginning section. I'll click on play. Only goes just a few seconds. There we go, nice green screen effect right here. We'll do a quick video cut for our next scene. There's our next scene, and then here is a picture in picture. Little window right there. Okay, let's go back to the browser. Now you can edit your video with cuts. You can put in transitions between videos. You can do that with Video Proc as well. Let's take a look here at Flex Clip. Notice that this is very similar. I'm just going to get that out of the way. We'll hide that. Now down here, notice that I don't have any way even of seeing a regular timeline. I have these big sections. I can come in here and I can add in some video possibly. I'll just grab something here at random. Let's just pull that down. When you do this, you get an editing window right here. And I can trim my video at this point and choose trim video. Let's set this up again like we had before. I'll go up here to media and here's my opening clip. Now you can replace clips on your timeline easily. Just drag it down like that and drop it on top. It replaces that clip. Leave the whole clip, choose trim video. You also can do picture in picture. Little icon right here, picture in picture. Click on that and the image comes in as a picture within a picture. So you do have that ability to do two videos running at the same time. But I can't bring one down and overlay it. If I want this as a green screen and pull it down here, if I do this, it's just going to replace that clip. It's not going to be sitting on top as a second track. I can get that down there by doing the picture in picture. And then let's just expand this out so it covers that whole picture like that. But now there's no way to key out this green screen to show the video in behind. I can't do any chroma key effects in here, so I can't do my own green screens. Now there are some overlays here in Flex Clip. And that's over here under overlays, but they're just these graphics and it's very limited on what's available. So there's some limitations in here with Flex Clip that we don't have over with the Video Proc Vlogger free editing program. Now this is great if you don't need very much at all. These work fine, easy to use, but they don't have the flexibility that we have with the Video Proc Vlogger. Again, I can't do green screen down here. I can't do multiple tracks down here. I can't do things that I really want to do. Okay, let's talk about something else, and that is the quality that you can get on these. We'll switch back over to the Video Proc Vlogger program. Here we go. I want to now output this for final use. So I'll go over here where it says export. Brings up the export window, export settings right here, floating window. You can rename the file, choose where you want to save it to, choose your output format, several to choose from right there. MP4 is what everybody uses nowadays. Right hand side, video quality, low, medium, high, or a high quality lossless mode right here. Two options on the video codec. Also on audio, I can adjust my audio settings down below here. So real easy to output to very high settings. I also can choose the resolution. I'm working right now, this is a 1080p. This is the standard resolution for YouTube video, so I'm using that. This goes all the way up here to 4K. You can actually do a 4K resolution right here in your videos. Let's now take a look at InVideo and Flex Clip and see what those offer us. Here we go, okay, we're in Flex Clip right now. Let's go over here to Export click on that and we have three settings in here 480p 720p and 1080p is the highest setting and notice that this requires a plus subscription so you actually have to pay the 1080p is no longer a free video editor let's take a fast peek at in video 
same thing. Go up here where it says download and share. Export settings, 720 and 1080p. Those are the only options I have in here. I don't have any other options. So you're really limited on your export options when you're using these free online video editors. But if you want to have a more professional editing experience, really get in there and do all the stuff you really want to do, then you really need a full featured video editor like the VideoProc Vlogger right here, which will do pretty much anything you want. Let's take a quick look around here and see what you actually can do here inside of the free video prop vlogger. First off, our timeline. We've already seen that. You can scrub back and forth in here on the timeline with an overlay track, which allows you to do green screen effects like this. It allows you to do picture in picture like we have right here. You can have audio track down below. Notice that with the audio track, I can add in multiple audio tracks. Little plus button right here. I can put in additional audio tracks. So I can have one track for music, one track for narration, one track for sound effects. Very useful. On the overlay track, same thing. I can do multiple overlay tracks. Also on video, same thing, I can do multiple video tracks. Across the top of here, here's our media library, left-hand side. Click on this button to upload. These are also video clips that I found over on both Pexels and on Pixabay. So again, this is all free stuff that I found online. Easy to do. Loads and loads of transitions here. These would be transitions between clips. As you can see, just lots of stuff in here, lots of options on transitions. Special title effects in here, credit titles, subtitles, and regular titles right there. Loads of effects filters, there are 50. Scroll down here, tons and tons of effects filters that would be applied right onto your video. And that's just the basic stuff. On the right hand side, this right now I'm looking at this particular clip here. On any of these clips, I can come through and I can adjust all this stuff. We can adjust the time and duration right here. We can come down and adjust the opacity of a clip. So you can actually do see-through clips if you want to. You can adjust your color and filter, exposure, contrast, saturation. There's even an advanced color and filter editor. I'll click on that. Brings it up in a new window. And in here, all these different templates that you can apply that will adjust color based upon your template. So again, that's in a separate video color editor. You can transform a clip, rotation, scale, position, flip it, fit to screen volume adjustment in here for any of your video clips. You can actually reverse play a video, play it backwards if you want to. Just your play speed right down here. Let me just bring this down a little bit. Notice here there's also a non-linear editor. Let's click on that. Just by clicking on one of these, you'll then get these control handles in here, giving you complete control over the speed and transitions changes of speed in the middle of a video clip. Okay, let's just close that. You can correct lens distortion in here. Choosing from all your different GoPro lenses and adjust distortion for that particular lens. You can do image denoising. You can change your voice presets in here. Original, man, woman, child, robot. Now that's just the video side of things. A couple of audio things in there. Let's come down here. I'll click on the audio track, our music track right here. And click on this button here. We have a complete audio editor in here. That's not just editing audio with a timeline. As you can see, I can even come in here and select a range and edit to a specific range. But we also, the top here, I can increase, decrease volume, fade in, fade out very easily. I can invert, mute, mute. But there's even an equalizer, a graphic equalizer in here with settings for different sound styles down below, presets. And we have audio effects right here. Sound effects, echo, reverb, low pass, gain, audio pan, noise, speed change right here. So all kinds of built-in sound effects as well. Real easy to come in and edit audio specifically with its own little built-in audio editor right there. So if you're looking for a free video editing program that gives you complete professional level controls, I'd recommend using the VideoProc Vlogger program. And if you like this video, Click on the like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for more video proc videos. I'll put a link for that in the description and I'll see you next time.